In this episode of the Valentine series I'll be showing you how to make a heart shaped lemon tart. This would be great as a dessert or as a special DIY gift for a loved one at Valentine's. For the individual hearts I'll be using a heart shaped tartlet tin, they are readily available, I recommend the non-stick ones if you do buy them, although if you don't have them to hand you could always make this with either individual round tartlet tins or you could also make a 12 inch tart and just slice it. As you can see on the screen here, I'm now lining the tartlet shells with sweet pastry. If you want to learn how to make your own sweet pastry, check out the other video on the channel. Lining a heart shaped tartlet shell is slightly trickier than lining a round one. You need to be careful to make sure that you push the pastry right down into the corners of the tartlet tin to make a nice neat edge and be very careful towards the top of the tartlet shells as the shape of it can be quite prone to causing your pastry to break when you are trying to mould it. When lining your tartlet tins, make sure that the paper touches as much of the inside of the tart as possible and instead of wasting your money on expensive baking beans, why not do what I've always done, which is just to use rice. The filling for the tart is a straightforward custard based one which is relatively easy to make and bake. Begin by placing 65 grams of caster sugar, one whole egg and one egg yolk into a bowl and whisk well. Add in 55 grams of cream and whisk again. Add in the zest and juice of one lemon, I prefer to use a traditional lemon squeezer over a strainer as you do tend to get a lot more juice out of the lemon. To see lots more cooking and baking, plus more of the Valentine series, why not subscribe and turn on that notifications bell? Whisk in your lemon juice and lemon zest and then leave the mixture to one side to settle for one hour. When you're ready to use your mixture, take a spoon and give it a stir to eliminate any bubbles that may have formed on top from whisking so you have a nice smooth top and then start to fill your pastry shells. You'll see here the recipe actually only fills three of the shells, although I always recommend having a spare one on standby as any slight pinholes in your pastry may cause the mixture to leak out before it is baked. When you're happy that your mixture has been evenly spread between the tart shells, place in an oven on 140 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes or until set. You will want to see when they come out of the oven that they do have a slight wobble to them and then that's when you know they will be cooked as they will set firmly when you refrigerate them later on. Just be aware that cooking times may vary from oven to oven so be cautious to watch them after 30 minutes of baking. Once cool refrigerate your tarts and then once they are fully cold they should be nice and firm on top. I've decided to garnish mine a little bit by adding some sugar on top and glazing with a blowtorch. Traditionally for a lemon tart you would glaze the entire top, although for the heart effect for Valentine's I've decided just to blow torch a heart shape on top. Be careful when glazing using a cutter like this as the heat from the blow torch will make the cutter go hot and I did slightly over glaze them, slightly darker than I would have liked, but you'll see how I fix this towards the end of the video. And always make sure when you remove the cutter from the tart that you pick it up with a pair of tongs as the heat from the blowtorch will make the metal of the cutter extremely hot and it will burn. Also you see what I've done here where I've dropped the heart shaped cutter, make sure you always pick it up with the tongs and resist the temptation to pick it up with your fingers as it will hold heat for quite a considerable amount of time. Once you've glazed your heart shape on top of your tarts, finish by dusting with a bit of icing sugar. This does create a nice effect, or like I've done here, if you have overglazed them slightly, it also hides your mistakes. Something I have forgotten to mention until now is to always make sure you keep your tarts actually in the metal tart shells until you're ready to serve, as the sweet pastry is quite fragile and you want to eliminate the risk of any damage to the tarts. And there we have our heart shaped lemon tarts, these would make for a great dessert for dinner on Valentine's or as a great DIY gift for a special loved one at Valentine's. I hope you have enjoyed my Valentine's mini series and if you have be sure to like share and subscribe and for lots more cooking and baking why not check out one of the videos on screen now.